how do you feel about being considered this, you know, God amongst this entire culture? Well, I'm just happy to represent hip hop to the fullest extent. But there would be no Run DMC if it wasn't for the real pioneers, all the dudes before us, Cold Crush. Grandmaster Flash, Furious Five, Funky Four Plus One, Fantastic Five, Treacherous Three, Jazzy Five MCs, Africa Ben Bada, New Zulu Nation, Busy B, Starsky, Hollywood, all the dudes before us are the guys that we really need to celebrate. Okay, so tonight we're here celebrating with Doing Art Together. How did you get involved with this organization? Well, I, I work a lot with the youth for the city. And I realized that one way to light that spark, that fire for learning, is to use the arts. If you look at hip hop, hip hop, hip hop is an artistic medium that we use graffiti, which is art, breakdancing, poetry, music. It was a way to artistically express the greatness that's in us. But at the same time, we use the arts to teach each other. So when doing art together, when I found out about their program, and I know that it works because there's kids that won't even talk to you. There's kids that don't even want to learn. If you use the arts, whether it's painting, sculpture, poetry, spoken word, music, dance, or drama, a kid that hated learning and didn't even want to speak to you, the next week, He's like, oh, I need to do this. I want to do this. Could you let me do this? I want to learn this. So the arts is the key to success for the youth of today. How much did the arts influence you when you were very young? You know, these kids are 5, 10 years old. When you were that age, how did the arts influence you to be an artist today? It was my whole youthful, artistic um, influences, comic books, coloring books, um, school. Uh, then, all of a sudden, the greatest thing that happened to the world is hip-hop comes over the bridge from the Bronx. And, you know, I went to Catholic school my whole life. So when this thing, it was musical, it was visual, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the graffiti artists, even though we wasn't supposed to write on walls we didn't own, it took somebody to say, yo, stop putting the young people in jail and look at the beauty of that art right there. So it was the arts that inspired me to become the person that I am today. How important is it for artists who have established themselves and maybe, you know, pulled themselves up by their bootstraps to really give back to the community and to the children in their neighborhoods, you know, and not to forget that? Right. The number one priority for anybody that is successful, their first priority should be going back and creating the same doors to be open that they were given. It's all about giving people, the younger generation, from those neighborhoods you came from, the same opportunities that you have. A lot don't do it. A lot you can't have a saying. You just can't wait till Thanksgiving and Christmas to come and cater to your people. You know, you can't just give out turkeys on Thanksgiving then they don't see you for a whole year, then you come back on Christmas and give out coats. And more importantly, if you do those things, you got to teach people how to fish for themselves. And that's what this is about. It's an everyday thing. Last question. Are there any artists out right now, hip-hop rappers that, you know, young and coming up, that you're really paying attention to and that you like out here? Who do I like right now? Wow. The, the guy that really inspires me is Andre 3000 because he never spits a whack verse.